Hello and welcome internet friends, new and returning. We are returning to Stellaris First Contact, our payback series, our wonderful Cinnamalan, slimy little fishy little plant boys, fish plants, plant fish, these guys right here. So I've been staring at this before I hit the record button for a while and thinking, my situation isn't so good. I have only a very few stars that I can actually claim as my own, and I have a neighbor right here. I got some problems too. First, my militarists are so unhappy. They are hard to make happy at this point. Uh, a local li rivalry, an imperial homo- I mean, I'm not gonna have be an overlord to anyone anytime soon. Uh, low naval capacity, oppressive subjugation, and it made me realize a couple of things. The first thing is I am not doing this right at all. I'm not doing this right at all. I'm not. I am not effectively role-playing the slime slime guys here. These slimy, tentacly, wonderful guys, they need they need to be role-played better. So this is the first thing. This is not a reasonable expansion direction. There's clearly an alien race here. Since we know they're not in these two places and we know we're, they're not here and they've reached there, that means the center of their their system is probably someplace around here. Okay, just as a guess, one of these three stars is most likely where it is. Because they will have expanded out from their original system at least a couple of places, and they will put stations in just like we did. If they have a station here, then it's most likely that they're here. Which means they're probably pretty close to controlling these stars as well. We don't have an expansion path in this direction. I have to assume, just from the way these hyperdrives all connect, that this is going to be their empire. Even if it's not perfectly correct, like even if it's only this part, this is blocked off to me. I don't, I'm not going after Psionic. I don't care about the Shroud guys. We don't need to try to capture this just to get the Shroud guys under our control. We don't even need to control this. This is none of the stuff we're interested in. We're interested in defending our borders until we're strong enough to strike it out in the galaxy and prove that we are militaristically superior to all the aliens out there who think that they can prove themselves better than us by having that one simple advantage of being on the block first. Well, we're coming after them. We are the scrappy upstarts that are ready to make the galaxy our own. We're not out here to make enemies, but we're also not out here to make friends. And that is going to be the philosophy that drives us forward. So these two, two stations right here, as quickly as we can, need to have defensive border stations, because realistically, we would see this as a threat. This is a threat. The first thing I'm going to do to help alleviate some of this problem is I'm going to go right over here to my policies, and I'm going to be like, subjugation war terms, oppressive vassalage, right? When we take vassals, it will be to show dominance over them. That'll help us out a tiny bit with this. We also need to take our military, our one fleet here, and we need to expand its size. In fact, we're not going to expand its size completely. We're going to, more or less, we're going to build three fleets, ten size. We're going to move this up to ten. Done. Now, at this point, I think we need to start looking at what our plans for the future are. So... There's our last three ship debris, there's an industrial district, something we definitely need. We're starting to see some corruption in here. Let's Now that we've reached this point, I think I'm going to put the I think I'm going to put the enforcers back in. Just so the corruption problem doesn't get any worse than it already is. We still have our unified purpose bonus. And then we're going to go to our other two colonies, our colony 1 and our colony 2, and we are going to change them to a forge world and we're going to change this one to a factory world just because specializing these is better for us uh, that should help there and then we're going to redirect how our construction is going to go as well so this guy here is building a mining station you are going to make your way over here and you're going to grab uh, you can start moving there we'll grab it when we get back we're going to let you finish what you're doing and then you're going to change your exploration direction to grab these up here. And we're going to talk about our expansion plans. There's a bit of a hint at our expansion plans at the specific direction and, uh, and order that I'm choosing to do these in. And that is, we need to make stations to cut off our space so that we can defend ourselves from anybody who would come into our territory. We have 15 years to be able to defend ourselves against the next time those uh, creeps come to try to steal our resources. They are probably going to come in force next time and we need to be ready for it. That means border stations, that means spaceships, that means technology forced focused towards the military, something that we are absolutely well oriented towards military technology. If we look at our system borders, we have these two, so one, two, we have this one. If we look up here, we can see that there is a one hyperlane block there, so that will be three. And then someplace down here, there will be two or three more 
taking us to five or six. That means we need two more systems. Two more of these. Hopefully starbase capacity will come up. Hopefully we can expand in this direction fast enough to be able to control that much space. And that should give us a nice area to work with. And hopefully we'll find some more planets out in this direction that we can add. And then maybe we can continue to expand down here or even across here. So this guy... Oh, I forgot to count this one. Uh, yeah, this one. So this is going to be a block. This is going to block either here or here because we can't go in every direction. We can't explore everything. So this guy, instead of doing that stuff, which we've assigned to the other guy, he's going to change his new exploration rate. He's going to check this out, which if this is a good system, we will put the blockade station here. And if it's not, we'll put it up here in the system we've already got. And then we're just going to head down this way and survey our way through these stars, hopefully finding out where another one or two star connection to this area is so that we can confine our space and begin the process of being able to develop our, defend ourselves properly. Oh, we should move this up in speed because we're perfectly capable of paying on fast speed. Okay, go up there. Okay. So now this, I was going to say, this has got to be ancient mining drones. It says right on it because ancient mining drones is the only... Uh, space-born organism that we have information about and it didn't trigger a first contact event so it has to be it has to be mining drones that's good they could actually create something of a border for us at least early game because anybody who attacks us from this direction would have to come through them which technology did we end geothermal fracking is finished now fusion missiles is what we want next preferably we're going to do probably missiles and uh and lasers because that gives us two different paths to technological advancement and then we won't have to be stack teching our uh our other advancements because <laughs> you you had to escape so we'll just reset your stuff here survey survey Sorry. all right so we got unity and alloys that's good seems that this either gives like some resources usually alloys and unity or it gives some technological benefit in unity i think i want to hit the thing that gives me star bases and i think that means going down defense planning pop growth speed is probably strictly speaking better but we're going to go ground defense planning anyway because i think that will lead us to better military technologies we have fusion power now of these technologies i was really hoping for lasers um this is good and fast. I think we're going to do improved deflectors. So we're getting closer to learning about these people. We really need to learn about them. Depending on what their traits are, we should be able to determine whether they're better off to take them as a rival or as a potential ally. I probably should get these done as soon as possible. So we'll just queue both of these right now. One of those was paid for by our bonus anyway. Let me see. So this is going to be colonization fever for the extra bonus. I said colonization fever. Or fever. Uh, okay. So we have the odd factory. That's it's not the best. <laughs> it could turn out good. It could turn out bad. <laughs> well, let's hope it turns out good. <laughs> Oh, wait, did we... What did we... Oh, no. Sigh. <laughs> okay, let's just stop. Survey. 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 Survey, because apparently we did explores instead of surveys. Most likely because of playing so much Distant Worlds. Okay, starts first contact with the Mew aliens. Where is this? Here. Is this yes so this is an actual my guess is right these guys have got to come from down here or over here all right let's put an envoy on that see if we can't learn who those are and where they exist I don't want anyone working at it <laughs> I don't want to decide what to do with it nobody works there found. let me see so you're continuing down here that's fine so this doesn't connect to anything. This goes up here. There's an end spot here, which is good. 
this could be our cutoff to the bottom then. So it looks like the event to build this ship is finally finished. That's great. We started it last episode, if you remember. The ship actually looks pretty good. It's pretty strong for this early in the game and should help us to defend our capital against uh, those damned debt collectors that keep coming back every every 15-ish years. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to put in gun batteries and crew quarters because these are going to be anchorages. We'll do the other one as well. So gun batteries and crew quarters. Let's just let this stay paused. This is Psy Aliens. Where are they? Oh, this is this is the Space Cow Planet. That's awesome. That's a really good system. It has tons and tons of research in it. So we'll just let that go for now. Looking at this, it's just, I don't want to do their hacking. I don't want to hack them. We're not we're not good enough at that. Yeah, this is Space Cow Science Land. That's success. great. Ground defense planning. What can we take next? I guess we hit up uh, gene mapping. This science ship is now going to grab as many of these as possible. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Let's try this again. I want you to research these without going through the deadly mind systems, mining robot systems. Yes, you can avoid the deadly mining robot systems for me, please. We'll do this, and if this is still not taken by the time we get here, we'll be fine. Oh, our governor died. Great. We probably should get another one. Making a new leader. That was our first election. I mean, I can pick, but I actually don't really care at this point. Okay. So they've come close to our systems. We saw their ship. Going to... I think we're gonna do this now if we can afford it which we can randomize the spit zeolia perfect that is this planet now on its way to being colonized we are behind a bit on energy let's see what we've got here you can build the mining and research stations here and you can grab that outpost we need two more starbase capacity minimally uh, there's an ocean world here it's very small there's a savanna world here, which is not as useful complete. to us. Primitive, okay, so this is the solar sailor, gives us some engineering research. Uh, can't say no to that. In fact, that's pretty good, honestly. This is now 13 strong. I am going to I don't have any admirals yet, do I? No, we're going to leave this to, to defend the home system, and then we're going to split this off into a fleet of 10 and a fleet of 3. Form a fleet, please. A fleet of 10. Your new home base is going to be this station right here. Special project, alien mural. New Let's see where you are. You're up here. Can you just do the project, please? Port I'm fine with becoming a little more xenophile if they're that ugly. I mean, we don't really like ugly aliens. We don't really care that much, but it is... I don't care about coil guns. We're going to do... Well, ceramic metal hulls first that feels more like what we would put there we are blue lasers good you can pick this up then you can come down here and expand us to here uh good bonus engineering can't can't deny the usefulness of that are you done you are done so we're gonna send you here leave that be for now here this is I don't know what kind of they are. I think they're uh, supremacists. Okay, so we've made first contact with someone here. We need to pause for a second. I don't see anything here. <laughs> There's no station here or anything. Really don't know anything about them. And we have nobody who can really work on this right now. We'll just take the pop growth speed from expansion. We definitely need energy credits. So we should think about what we're going to do here. We haven't... Okay. Plus 5% happiness modifier from the victory version of the comet. Plus 3. Oh, that's actually really good. Let's stop for a second. Because we're running so fast. Oh, we should get a new governor. Anything good governor-wise? I think we're going to get the science guy here. Now, looking at this, we have one unemployed specialist. I wonder why that happened. I'm going to go to this place here. Can see that we have no jobs available any of these places they need 
They need amenities. Well, I mean, we have a small amount of amenities coming in as they produce clerks, so we won't worry too much about that. If we go here, probably I could build a power station. I think I can afford a power station on both of those two worlds. Report okay, gene mapping is good. Uh, this will help us with our problem because of the healthcare thing, so let's just get this finished, even though we'll probably never build any of them. System. All right, you should be able to come over here and grab this, and you can do the mining bases. I think your goal is going to be to grab these three stations so we can put a block here. Ikaran warriors sighted. Uh, scattered reports of a number of small alien missionaries and privateers appearing on the frontiers of space. They call themselves the Akananins. Apparently exiles from a nomadic warrior culture inhabiting overcrowded space stations in and around the Ordella system. Okay. Uh, we are, unlike the civilized star nations of the galaxy, we have no single master to overload us yet. Okay, we have now made first contact with somebody. They... Okay, snake guys. It is this. Uh, I think we're going to go with neutral because we don't want them spying on us. Right? Yeah, look. Look how much of what I thought they were going to take they took. They immediately took this. This will force us to have a maximum of two borders with them, which is what we want. Let's just look at how they feel about us. They're suspicious and it's going down. Do I invest a whole bunch and try to make these guys like us, or do I just accept the fact that we're we're rivals right, right away? Let's just see where it goes naturally for now. We're not gonna put we're not gonna uh, harm our relations with them at this point just to just to force the issue. We'll see how they go with it. Okay. How many ships do I have here? Six of seven. Let's do this. We've received a new breakthrough in engineering. What should we do next? I guess engineering research is good. We should look at our ship designs because it's probably actually time for us to do something about that. You're going to pop up here. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to leave this for now because I want to push this direction first because I've actually seen alien activity down here. So you're just going to head over here and grab these alloys. Should be good for now. We got blue lasers. Nah. So let's see. Let's do uh, field manipulation just to help with our energy credits. This planet is now secured. Let's look at it. It's pretty small. I think we're just going to generalist this planet and then turn it into a research planet eventually. So for now, we're going to focus on just general growth. Start with a city district that they definitely need. We have one job left here and no housing, so we're going to build a city district there. We're going to come down here, and we're also going to build a city district here. I think that will help with the housing. And our expansion is going well. Uh, we found a wormhole. What's that's there? Okay, interesting. I think we've reached the point where we can now see how much space we can realistically expect to control. Obviously, in the future, we will expand on that. So we've now reached 3333. We're now at full military deployment. Who is this? Uh, they are Xenophile Authoritarian. Okay, I think we're going to try positive relations with them. Where is their location? The micro singularity is good. They're over here. Let's look. I'm going to immediately form a non-aggression pact with them because they seem to be happy with that and establish an embassy just right away. See if they'll take that. Okay. They have accepted our proposals that immediately caused these guys to declare rivalry. That should actually help us though. Right? Because I can then declare a rivalry back. And in doing so, I should make these guys happier. Okay. Okay. You're going to come down here and build a station here. So we're going to try to establish a good relationship with these guys. I think that should work out. That's the Akaran Raiders. Our militarists are a little happier than they were previously, which is nice. I do need more naval capacity, though, so I can build this up to 10. Let's look at our ship designs. They're probably still on auto, so... Because I haven't even been in here yet. Uh, these... This will do. Then I'm going to upgrade you. Hopefully we have the money, and then we're going to upgrade you, but that means you're going to have to come in. It's fine. Hopefully we can build a 
proper space station out there at some Recon point. Completed. So yeah, our spaces Science were kind of constrained. All right. Having mastered the search secrets of genetic engineering, our people are now able to build gene clinics like the ones left by the invaders. It's a glorious day for our people. Proof that we need no tendril holding to reach the stars. Absolutely. Good job, everyone. Bunch of unity. And we no longer have declining health care. Interesting. Okay, well, we don't accept threats. So that Ships means we need to gather our military forces. Since they are down here, they're going to enter our space from this direction. We want to take our military forces here and set them there. Hopefully we will be able to succeed at holding them off. Starbase capacity, exactly. That is what we were looking for. So that will help us build the stations we need to build in the south here. You are going to grab this. I have no idea if we can win this fight. Okay, so we found Dorakin, some kind of scientist from an unknown species. She claims her scientific knowledge to be without equal and that she would be a valuable asset. Uh, she can join. I'm not going to say no to a free scientist. What should I do with her, though? I mean, we could build her a science ship and send her past this. We could also clear this. I don't know whether or not clearing this is a good idea. We will build a station here, though, now that we know we can. To put knowledge of technology could use. Her shared incentive to push our physics research to new heights. Awesome. Success. Let's pause that. Don't care about coil guns. Let's do robotic workers. And you've now completed field modulation, which pu pushes this way up. Basic cloaking fields. Research speed. I think research speed we need. One of these two probably is for the best, but we'll do research speed because it'll be faster. We keep ourselves on our forward momentum. Where is Helios? Down here. Are there... there are stations here. Okay. Hopefully we're going to be able to get this stuff done. Complete. We have detected their fleet heading towards... What system are they heading towards? That way? I would never have guessed that way. I would never ever have guessed that way. Okay, we don't stand a chance against them. Um, We, we literally do not stand a chance against them. Even with my 2,000 ship and both of my fleets combined together, I don't think we stand a chance against them. So that's an interesting position to be in because that pretty much means we're going to have to just accept paying them off, I guess. I hate that though. You know, I hate that this fleet is full and this fleet's maximum is 10, but we're not reinforcing them at this time. I guess, hmm, I hate doing this. I hate doing that. It bothers me a lot, but I don't know what I can do about it otherwise. So we're just going to send you home I'm gonna send you home and we're going to try to work towards getting closer to actually complete. being able to defend ourselves. You're going to grab this because it's necessary for us to do so. We got to move on it fast before they decide to take it. Good, so we will be able to hold that border. Completed. All right. We need to build another... So we have this star base. Again, this star base is going to be a defensive base, so we put weapons on it. Then we're going to grab... You are not finished yet, right? You still have that to do. You down here, heading into there. Uh, you've got job now. So we're going to go to our shipyard here, and we're going to tell them, hey... I would like for you to build me something in the shipyard. Could you build me a new science ship for that scientist that we picked up? In fact, maybe instead of sending them home, we send them here to clear this. I think we can. Construction complete. Fleet action underway. Science division report success. Always bugs me. It's my fault, though, because I'm going on super fast. I should have held them on the inside of the the border of the system until both sets of ships were there, and then we probably would have lost less. And we're going to send her ship to explore this region of space. Actually, we'll start that again. She'll do research there. 
She'll survey the system. Survey up into here. We definitely have some... Some exploration reach over this way. And we have another scientist who's doing nothing? No, but we do have... Okay, so we've completed our border here. I'm gonna, again, upgrade this starbase right away. Puts us at five. They're now in a rivalry too, which makes a lot of sense. We should check on them to see if we can improve our relations anymore. I am going to improve our relations. I guess we gotta wait till it's, it's friendly. I would actually like to become closer with these necroids, even though, you know, you know what? I'm so used to playing like, like, Inbound message traffic. Like space friendlies. Inbound message traffic. They're offering us the defensive pack that we would have offered them. They're offering us a commercial pack that we would have offered them. That's good. Your repairs are complete. Can you? So your home base, you have no home base, so we'll pick a home base for you, which will be in the the home system, which is Yuri here. Can you return home, please? Thank you. We still have these guys out there lost in space. Hopefully we can do something about them soon. All right, things are actually going pretty good for Indian us. They traffic. want a research agreement as well. We will absolutely agree, even if it's not in our benefit, just so that we can assure that our relationship with them becomes very strong. You can also do this stuff. Our other guy, who's over here, can grab this, and this, and then come all the way up here and build a starbase. Okay, let's see what's happening here. One more city, city district housing plus one, robo modding. Let's do the Corvette and frigate holes. I still need this to be higher. We're going to grab starbase upkeep. That just gives us some free, well, not effectively free. It just gives us resources back. Communications established. Okay, where are you? So you guys are Militarist Egaltarian. I'm gonna go neutral with you. You're down here. So you're where we- th you're this border. So we did make that cut at the exact last place we could make it. So we are definitely pressed in, that's for sure. Our space, our controlled stars are basically just this circle, and then we have this area over here for potential expansion. Got a lot of these, um, mining drones. Hopefully, we will be able to control all of this without too much difficulty. I think we have to do this, because we need a way to adjust our fleet sizes freely. We could, I suppose, build soldiers to get more. I guess we gotta keep doing it until our fleets can actually stand a chance against them. I hate doing it, though. But they're not our traditional enemies, so I don't feel as bad about doing that as I would about accepting giving money to the damned, uh, despicables. Those damned corporates that enslaved us with their stupid contract that is complete bullshit. Weapons, you have completed that. So we're gonna- naval capacity here. We do need naval capacity. We've been hoping for that to show up. Let's do that. Taking evasive action. I don't think... Skywatch has sighted a spaceborne life form. Yeah, they destroyed our fleet and they're gonna take our station, but I think... We're gonna return in time to stop it from getting out of hand too Science much? Division reports a new breakthrough. Anomaly found. The destruction of our fleet sucks a ton, though? Okay... System reconnaissance completed. Please repair. Okay, the debt collectors departed from our home system, but a deep sense of dread still lingers. Given their dedication to their employer, they will never stop harassing us. Even if we somehow manage to repay the full sum, they will come up with something else. Interest rates, legal loopholes, small print hidden in the documents we don't remember signing. If we can't buy back our freedom, we have no choice but to fight for it. The only question is how. Uh, with weapons. We can now use the payback cause a bally to declare war on MSI. Begin the events of score of the score event chain. What's next? Destroyers is a good idea. And then up here in physics, 
Mining lasers, we'll never use them. Plasma flowers, uh, throwers. I think we're going to do moat stabilization just so we can... We have some moats in space, so we want to collect those. We need to have this guy come up here, hopefully, and finish what he's supposed to be doing. Could you build that? We need you to. We, we've always needed you to. Down here in the south, there's not much we can do except continue our expansion, I guess. Here. Okay. We are too weak to survive on our own. This hostile guy protect us if we become your subject. You want to become our vassal. Yeah, let's do it. Tracking spaceborne life form. That's weird because it feels like they're so much stronger than us. So why would they want to be our vassal? They aren't. They're inferior to us. They are equivalent to us in trade, but our technology and our science is better than them. That's interesting. I don't know how how good I feel about that. There are literal own. <laughs> they were. Well, I mean, this is closer than them being an ally, right? Hopefully, we can keep these guys neutral. Hopefully. That is an unexpected circumstance, though. I would not have expected them to ask for subjugation. That is very interesting, since they are, at least superficially speaking, stronger than us. These guys are going to be our biggest problem. I think we can keep these guys neutral. We don't have much expansion room. We got... Well, we do, though. You know, there's no reason to, to exaggerate it too much. We do have some expansion room. This poor fleet, once again... Fully wrecked. Just upgrade, please. You guys, I want you to also... Uh, you're fully upgraded. You're fine. We need more. <laughs> we need bigger fleets. Ah, we need everything we don't have. This is fine. Ideally, we need one, two, three, four, border, five border fleets. Which means we need to get significantly above 50 to do 10 fleet... Should we open up the Odd Factory? We're gonna open up the Odd Factory! We're gonna let that begin. Let's see, if I... put a stronghold here, that should help with that. Feel like that's a good idea. We can upgrade our... reassembled ship shelter into an actual... Uh, colony headquarters. I think... I think we're doing okay. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out what we're going to do with these guys. <laughs> uh, I am a little surprised that they wanted to be subjugated to us. I didn't think we would be that much stronger than them, but we have had some... We, we are in an interesting position. These guys... Yeah, these guys are our rivals. That's fine. I don't want to really deal with them too much. But yeah, okay, at the beginning of the episode, I thought we were going to have more problems than we would. I knew these guys would be here and they would be a problem, but having these guys sort of be our partner empire, i.e. our subjugated empire, should help us. Let's see where this scientist that's doing nothing is. You're down here. You can, there's lots for you to explore down here, so you can just keep doing that. I've been better making use of our two construction ships this time, not letting them go to waste nearly as often. We've got our factions, most of them are actually starting to... ...approve of the government's actions, that's pretty good. This fleet keeps, keeps getting blown up and having to be repaired because it's got... ...nothing. It's, it's got a big old solid nothing, it's very, very not strong. But that's okay, it'll get there, right? Yeah, we built most of our star bases out, our defensive border stations. They're not really going to be able to actually defend our border, but with fleets assigned to them, they can at least threaten our enemies enough that they feel like they shouldn't come in and cause problems for us, which is the real point. We have one shipyard. We're going to build... So we're going to have to look what we have to do. We have two more... Uh, that's not even right. We have one more station we have to do, which will put us at... Six, and that leaves us with one other station. And that station is probably going to be something over here that we're going to use as a trade hub slash um, ship. We'll just pick a place to do that right now. We can't afford it right now. It's fine. 
So we're going to put a shipyard here. Or somewhere around here. So that we can easily repair the ships from this side of the little empire we've developed. We got to clear all this stuff up once we have some decent sized ships. So that we can take control of all of that properly. We got these places down here to expand into. Especially this, because this tech, this science is amazing. We definitely want it. Yeah, I think we're in a better position than I thought we would be at the beginning of this episode. Not perfect, but not terrible. Our, our, our slimy fish people definitely have a future. I don't know what that future is going to look like, but... Uh, at least they're not completely without hope, you know? Still, it's a hostile galaxy, and, uh, and there's a lot for us to deal with, I'll say that. Thank you for watching, this has been Huttner. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider giving it a like or checking something else out on the channel. You may find that I have other content that you enjoy. If this isn't your first time enjoying my content, uh, subscribe would be really appreciated, although I appreciate the views, even the silent views are very, very kind and I like them very much and I like you very much for watching I hope that you come back and join me again the next time we're here playing First Contact Stellaris thank you